Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com My name's James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2017 67 plate Ford Transit 2 litre TDCI 170 limited low roof double cab van It's a bit of a mouthful um, but it's a spectacular van um, The vehicle has done 42,000 miles and it's got full service history with three services in total Okay so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and they've proved to be very popular because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home but as if you were here in person as i go around the vehicle we'll look at all the panels individually looking for any any marks any scratches or any dints we'll look at the wheels and the tires we'll have a look in the back and then we'll have a look inside the vehicle looking at the seats the functionality i'll even tell you what it smells like inside as well once we've done that we'll pop the bonnet have a look at the engine and then finally we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis, and of course any other bits under there as well. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it, and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you're looking to finance a vehicle, we'll ask you to go through an application with us, which will take about five minutes, and we can usually get you a decision within about an hour. In most cases, on a vehicle such as this, we'll ask you for a deposit to cover the VAT, Obviously, that will depend on you and your circumstances. <coughs> Excuse me. Hay fever's bad today, so I'm all over it. Uh, right, so let's start with the bonnet and then we can work our way around from there. I will say to you, you know, if you do think I've missed something or if you want to see something in a bit more detail, please just ask. Give us a call on the number at the back of the uh, video and ask for James G. And I will sort that for you, no problem at all. Right, let's start with the bonnet. So uh, it is in great condition. Hopefully you can see that uh, from the video. Um, there is, I will tell you straight away, I've seen it just as I was looking around it, but there is a very small dint there. Um, you can't pick it out really very easily, but it is there and I'd rather be honest with you. But other than that, it's in fantastic condition. Um, so the windscreen. Hopefully you can see from that, it's difficult to see, I know, but there's no stone chips or cracks. Um, if you look really closely, it is a heated screen as well, so that's quite good. Driver's side headlight is in great condition, as is the front bumper and grille, and also the passenger side headlight as well. Right, let's work on to the uh, passenger side front wing. And hopefully you can see from that it's in great condition a little bit of insight into this vehicle i actually borrowed it when it first arrived and i used it for a day um it's actually really nice to drive dead responsive it's good on fuel uh, and there's plenty of space as well i've got a big family so um passenger side front wheel and tire wheels in good condition there is a bit of a scuff on the wheel there um, tyre, as a guess, probably 5mm or so on the tread. So, front wing's in good condition. Mirror back's in good condition. Let's look at the pillars. So, looking over the top of the pillar, there's no damage on the, on the, on the pillars at all. Right, so let's concentrate on the passenger side now. Let's go down all the panels, make sure we're not missing anything. And hopefully you can see from that, it's in really good condition. And there's no obvious marks, scratches or dints. There is actually a little dint there. Can you see that? But I think what it is, it must be from the inside. So the, this is obviously the panel van part. So it's had a little whack from the inside and it's just brought it out slightly. It isn't easy to see, but it is there. Yeah, I can see it there, but tiny, but I'd rather be honest. Right, let's look at the rest of it. And I can't see anything else at all. Just have one more check just to make sure. No, there's nothing at all. 
Right, so. Passenger side, rear wheel and tyre, the wheel's in good condition. There is a tiny mark on the wheel there. Um, tyre is all but new, I think, to be honest. We'll have a look in the back later on. Right, so, onto the rear quarter. Tail lights in great condition, as you can see. As is the rear bumper, if you follow it round. You will notice on these, they've got front and rear parking sensors. It's also got a reversing camera as well, which is there. I will show it you working when we get inside. Let's have a look at the, the tailgate, the door. What would you call it on a van? Rear door, I suppose. Uh, it's in great condition. And there's no obvious marks or dents. Everything looks nice and clean. There is a very small scratch there. There's my finger as a guide. It's about a centimetre and a half. It's not serious, but it is there. All right, so let's have a look inside. Oh, no, I'm not. It's locked. Get the key. So as you can see, it opens upwards. Really decent size opening. Loads of space in the back. I don't know if that helps or not in regards to the size. But yeah, um, that rubber. It's got a plastic floor and then wooden panels on the lower. And then obviously it's just the metal on the sides. Um, it's got LED lighting inside, which is uh, more than adequate to light it up, as you can see. So yeah, it's nice and clean in the back. Um, there's tie downs. Yeah, very smart. Door back is, again, it's clean, ply lined. Pneumatics obviously work perfectly well. Plenty of pressure in them. Easy to open, easy to close, dead easy actually. Right, so let's work our way down the driver's side. Tail lights in great condition on that. Let's work our way down. I say, well, let's look at the pillars again first. Make sure we're not missing anything. So yeah, they're all in nice condition. So look at the roof. So the roof, again, it's in great condition. There's no damage. At worst case, we could probably just do a bit of a clean on that, but that's nothing. Right, so let's go down the driver's side then. Nothing obvious. Driver side, rear wheel and tyre. Wheels in great condition, there's no damage. Opposite side, matching. Looks virtually new. Right, there is a dent on that door. I'd not seen that before. So it's not sticking out like a sore thumb, but it is there. And that is just there. As you can see, it's about like a pinhead basically but it is there a bit bigger than a pinhead it is small though I bet that would come out you know other than that there's nothing else mirror back's in good condition as is the mirror it's obviously got tinted side windows both sides right driver's side wing and again, it's in great condition, as you can see. There's no damage. And then driver's side, front wheel and tyre. Wheel's in great condition, there's no damage. And it's matching to the opposite sides, about four or five mil. Right, so let's have a look inside. Just pop that key back in there. 
there is one key with this one obviously bits for these do turn up occasionally so i mean sometimes we're waiting for a spare key or whatever um, it obviously is what it is so uh, driver's door card is in really good clean condition it's obviously been used as a car it doesn't take a genius to figure that out it's not been used as a workhorse um, it's really clean um, on the armrest above you've got your electric windows um, and then your mirrors and it's got electric folding mirrors too and then you can lock your vehicle from there as well so driver's seat um, it's a manual seat it's not electric so you can bring it up and down there's lots of maneuverability in regards to your seat base and stuff like that so yeah you can get it really comfortable very easily um, bolsters are really very firm the material is really nice and clean um, yeah it's a nice it's a nice seat let me just put the phone in there let me climb in oh dear well, let's start it up um, it is a six speed manual gearbox you have to press the clutch to start it uh, start straight away no issues at all and um, there's no smoke on startup it, as i said before it drives really nice um on the dashboard other than obviously the fact that there's uh, low fuel there's no other warning lights Oops, shut that down um click okay there we go So yeah, other than that, there's no warnings. Obviously, just the uh, low fuel and the handbrake on. Other than that, there's no warnings at all. Uh, right. So, um, in regards to the steering wheel, the steering wheel is in good condition. There's no damage. Um, to the right hand side on your steering wheel, this is basically your media center. So your volume, voice command. Um, you can also answer your phone and hang up from there because obviously it's got Bluetooth hands free. And then the left hand side is basically this screen here. Um, down below is your cruise control, um, media center, reversing camera. As you can see, really clear. It's got the parking sensors as well, works dead well. Um, and obviously then it's got the basic media center with phone, Bluetooth, etc. on there. It has got DAB. Um, CD player as well and also there is a uh, USB so you can charge your phone and also you can play your music through there as well if you want um, dashboard is really nice and clean it's free from damage it's got the heated screen uh, parking sensors obviously there it has got air conditioning hand tape does work I mean sat in it i've obviously used the vehicle it makes it a bit different for me so um, but yeah it's really cold it works very well uh, and it's pretty instant as well so it must be well topped up um, i'm going to switch it off because it's actually a bit too cold if anything to be honest with you passenger seats are again clean and free from any damage everything looks spot on center armrest on those with the cup holder obviously um smells just smells like air freshener to be honest with you i can't smell anything else um it is clean i don't think it's been as i say i think it's been used as a car to be honest it's not been used as a as a work vehicle it doesn't smell like cigarettes um it's just it's just all i can really smell is air freshener at the minute nothing else um we'll have a look in the back obviously at the race seats but the uh, roof lining again it's clean it's free from any damage Excuse me, I'm on my own. Bear me a second. Like that. Right, so yeah. Um, that's obviously, there's a light up there as well. Yeah, it's it's really clean. It, uh, my guess is it's been used as a as a, a company car. I think it, it, that's the only thing it can be been used. It's so clean, and obviously the mileage is so low, and the history is really good. Uh, right, so let's switch the engine on off rather. down here is your lights it has got automatic lights so if you set it to a for auto then you obviously your lights will come on automatically as well let's have a look in the back so in the back um 
the seats show no sign of any use at all, if I'm honest. They look like new, they feel like new. The bolsters are really tight and clean. Yeah, it's just... It's got the overmats as well. Oh, that's another thing as well, I forgot about that. Uh, in the cab down here, there is an optional 240 volt plug, or 230 volt rather. Um, so that's quite good. So yeah, it's, it's a really well specified vehicle. Low mileage, drives great, looks great. Yeah, spot on. Right, let's have a look under the bonnet. So, under the bonnet, everything looks nice and clean. As you can see from this, I want to show you this because obviously, um, for me, from my point of view, I want to know that it's, it is as it is. It's not been washed or cleaned. That's just how it's turned up. Um, so you can see, obviously, there's no, there's no oily residue around the engine or anything like that. Bear me one second, my camera's just going to have to balance for some reason. Right, so yeah, the uh, you can see it's not been cleaned, but then the upside of that is there's no oily residue around the engine or turbo unit. Everything looks nice and clean. All the fluids are to the correct levels and they're clean, obviously, and they look smart. So yeah, everything looks bob on. As I say, there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. Everything looks spot on. Right, let's have a quick look underneath. Get my camera to behave, that is. So on the underside of the engine, you can see there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. The chassis looks nice and tidy and clean. There's a spare wheel, it's a full size, and the tyre looks all right as well. Okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here in person. And I appreciate probably a little bit too much as well, obviously I do go on. Uh, but I'd rather show you absolutely everything rather than not enough. Now if you've got any questions, uh, or like I said before, if you want to see anything in a bit more detail, give me a shout, more than happy to do it for you, no problem at all. So thanks for viewing, appreciate it. More importantly though... Stay safe. Bye-bye.